We're live. Welcome, everybody, to the Jack of All Trivia Inner Geekdom Division for another exciting episode. Uh, you've already seen one uh, fantastic debut match, and we're about to give you another. Uh, today, we've got uh, a, a hopefully an intense newcomer battle here uh, from one person that we've seen throughout the league and another person that we've seen in other leagues, but he's making his... Uh, the, finally making the jump over into the Jack of All Trivia world. But before I introduce those guys, I'm going to throw it over to my co-host and producer today, uh, Nico Suave Rigole. What's up, buddy? Oh, nothing much, nothing much. I'm just excited for a great match. I got a nice plate of dinner here, going to the gym later. This is going to be a fun night. All right, getting loaded up uh, for a long night, sounds like. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> All right, so with that, let's go ahead and uh, throw it over to uh, the interviews so we can uh, hear what these guys have to say before we get uh, the actual game started. Nico, do you mind uh, interviewing these guys real quick? Of course, of course. First, let's go to Mr. Luca the Butcher Fallon, our number one contender for the Jukebox Division Championship. Luca, how are you feeling coming into your Inner Geekdom debut today? Yeah, this this is uh, this is not jukebox. Let's just say that. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. This this could be fun. Like I don't know how good Dave is, um, but I'm not. You know, this is not my zone. This is not my area at all. Um, it's not like on the level of like wrestling or TV, where it's just like I'm not going to do it because there's no point. Um, but like this is not my specialty. Um, but you know, it should be fun. All right, so he's somewhat confident, but not really. I'm, now not, I'm not confident. <laughs> now let's go to his opponent for the evening, um, Mr. Dave Goodger, the British Bulldog. How are you today, sir? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Looking forward to it. Okay. Um, where, how do you feel you stack up against uh, someone as well-known in this league as, uh, as Luca? Yeah, it's, Luca's obviously known in the jukebox that I would never – ever think of jumping into that i mean I, I listen to music but i've got no idea of the music questions go straight over my head so that's the inner geek gum is is my domain it's where i'm, I'm happiest competing it's where i'll be uh, where i can my, the beef of my knowledge is so uh I'm, yeah should be good all right all right and with the pre-match interviews out of the way i'll take it back to caleb the main host caleb are you ready for this match Oh, I'm ready, dude. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see these guys go at it, and uh, you know, it'll be it's a little a uh, little bit of a British civil war going on today. I'm I'm excited. <laughs> which one of us uh, is Charles, and which one of us is Cromwell? That's the question. <laughs> that is the question. All right, uh, well, let's go ahead and introduce these guys. So I'm going to get it going. Introducing first, representing the Apocalypse faction. Ooh. With strengths in Harry Potter and Star Wars. They're the future jukebox trivia champion of the world. They are the Butcher, Luca, Fallon, Madden. Ooh. I'm quite yeah. scared. <laughs> and their opponent representing that major list podcast. With strengths in Star Wars and the MCU, he is the British Bulldog, Dave Goodger. Oh, Insert yeah. British Bulldog music here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There we go. All right, guys. That out of the way, round number one works like this. I'm going to give you guys uh, uh, eight randomly selected or eight questions from randomly selected categories in the inner geekdom. You'll have 15 seconds to write down your answer on your whiteboard or piece of paper, whatever you have. We don't judge. Uh, and then uh, when that time is up, I will uh, call on uh, I will call on you. When you're called upon, please show your answer as well as verbalizing that answer. Uh, each correct answer is worth one point. Uh, there's no penalty for missing, and there's no stealing in round one. Everybody got that? You, let's do it. You said eight uh, questions, not ten? Eight questions. That's correct. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so everybody's got that. Let's get it on. Ding, your ding. First, 
Your first question comes in the category of the wizarding world. That is the Harry Harry Potter and uh, Fantastic Beasts, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, yeah. Here's your question. Maybe Harry Potter's uh, not a string. Yeah. In Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, what is Harry doing when Dudley and his friends come across him uh, at the onset of the film? I still have not gotten past um, the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> wow. It's really yeah. slacking on that studying, man. You got to study up for Jim Green. I know. I know. I know. I know. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down. All right. Let's go to Luca first. Uh, I believe he's sitting on a swing. That is exactly what I've got written down. That's correct. And Dave. No, I've not got it. Not <clears throat> All right. Uh, Nico, are you keeping score for me? Yep. All right, I'll so help. It's a 1-0 to me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just making sure um, I'm not at home, so I don't have my whiteboard right now. All right. I got uh, yep. Cool. All right. Your next question comes in uh, Dave's favorite category, Star Wars. Yay! <clears throat> uh, in Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, what does C-3PO say is his and R2's lot in life? Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. Oh, thank you. Is it? A... Don't worry. Okay. Five. I think, I think this will do. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be too uh, too judgy with it. Let's go to Dave. To suffer. To suffer. That is correct. And Luca. We seem to be made to suffer. It's our lot in life. Suffering. Suffering. Yep, that's correct. All I right. Watch that. Scene. I completely forgot the quote. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right. And that's like an early quote, too. It's one that you should remember. Um, yeah. All right. Next question. Question number three comes in the category of Middle Earth. And again, oh, that's times are over. Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, unfortunately. Robert just did a backflip in his room. <laughs> you said that the last time that came up. He makes that joke a lot. He doesn't have a, a deep well of humor. Um, all right. Your question in the category of Middle Earth. Name one of the two gifts that Bilbo gives to Frodo while in Rivendell in the Fellowship of the Ring. Has your uh, uncle who adopted you ever gifted you any, anything in, in an Elven City, Nico? Um, mm -hmm. Let's see here. Adopted uncle giving me something. I think I've heard stories of that before and it never ends well. Five, four, three, two, one. Trust the cosmic night fury to make it dark. Hands down, and let's go to uh, it's Luca this time. I think I've got them both: a uh, sting and a mithril male scent. That is correct. Got them both. Yep. And Dave. And the mithril. Sting and mithril shirt. That is correct. All right. Question number four comes in the category of Star Trek. Star Trek. Eh. All right, here we go, guys. In Star... <laughs> in Star Trek, the motion picture, what does it turn out... Uh, what does it turn out that the main threat of the movie, V'ger, actually is? Okay, sure. I worded that a little weird. I apologize for that. But, you know, V'ger, what does it turn out to be? <laughs> I'm assuming somewhere Scott Mance also did a backflip. Yeah. Uh, him and Sandy, they're uh, dancing and flipping and doing all kinds of aerobics. Five, four, yeah, it's probably could do three, a two, one. That's accurate. All right. Pen, or the boards are up anyways. Let's go to Dave first. Voyager. The Voyager probe. That, yep, I'll take that. And uh, Luca. Voyager spacecraft. That's correct. 
All right, at the halfway point, Luca is perfect with four. Dave is just behind with three. Okay, so uh, Thanks, slight JK. lead for the butcher coming out. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Shouting out the author is the butcher. All right, here we go into question number five. Is it from the category of DC movies? That's uh, movies that are based on DC comics that are not in the DCEU. Okay, so you guys have that. Right, cool. Yep. All right. Uh, what actor voiced the character Carl Beaumont, Andrea's father, in Batman Mask of the Phantasm? S. This is like the one Batman film I still haven't seen yet. My favorite oh, wow. of all of them. Okay. It's so good. It's... Yeah, definitely the best like actual yeah, Batman story out there. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, it's, it's like until Killing Joke, it was the only theatrically released Batman movie. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. All right. Uh, one, two, five. So we're going to Luca first. I believe it's Stacy Keach Jr. That is correct. What a pull. Absolutely. And Dave. No, no, no idea. Didn't pull it. All right. Stacy Keach Jr., the fantastic character actor. I love him. All right. Going on now to the flip side of the fandoms. We're going Marvel movies. It's the same as DC, except they're based on Marvel comics. They're not in the MCU. All right. The jelly to your peanut butter. Yes, indeed. All right, in Marvel, uh, how many actors have played Colossus in Fox's X-Men universe? That's including Deadpool and the Wolverine movies. Ooh. Fox would just keep a consistent timeline. The answer would be one. <laughs> <laughs> if only they could pull that off. I mean, you know, they got Marvel now, so you never know. Or, I mean, or Marvel's got them now, I should say. And the Five, deal still isn't finalized four, yet. Three, two, one. Oh, I can pray. All right, let's go to uh, the British Bulldog first. I've gone two. Two is incorrect. Yeah. And Luca. Uh, three? Three is correct. Motherfucker. That is correct. <laughs> Who had. Uh, to, yeah, I, it's the. I couldn't name a single one. Uh, it's, uh, Daniel Cudamore, uh, was in X2 and Days of Future Past. Stefan Kepsik was the voice of Deadpool, and Greg LaSalle was the body of, De of him in Deadpool. Uh, that's, that's sneaky. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, now going to, uh, oh, weird. I organized these strangely. All right, we're going to now uh, question number seven in the DCEU. One of them. That's an award. One of them. Let's see. Um, all right, in the DCEU, what was Bruce Wayne's response in Justice League when Clark asked him how he got his house back? <laughs> uh, this is funny. Five. Do you think they're going to continue Four. this universe or just scrap Three. it? Two. Scrap it with One. Penta. Yeah, I definitely think Flashpoint's where it's getting scrapped. That's uh, that's time, and I believe we're going to Luca first. Don't care. Fuck this movie. <laughs> Oh, dude, man, you are still going to have the first round. What an act. Uh, what, a, what an answer. All right, let's go to the British Bulldog. If I, Yeah, I just went and guessed it. I went and bought it. Ooh, <laughs> so close. The correct answer is he said he bought the bank. <sighs> bought the bank that he that yeah, owned it. Yeah. Yep. Oh, right, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, hmm, hmm. I don't know, I'm... I feel like maybe you should give it to him on a technicality. Uh, on a technicality, it's incorrect. 
Yeah, <laughs> technically it's wrong. It's also, it's also incorrect as a quote. As he said he bought the house. Yeah. In the context yeah, of the oh movie. My, oh my all right. God. All right. Yep. All right. And your last question comes in the MCU. Wow. Did this really well. Uh, your question from MCU is Who directed Captain America, the first Avenger? Ooh, this is a good one. I feel like the movie is very underrated. I agree. I uh, like honestly, it's, 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 it's one of my probably favorite one of my favorite MCU MCU movies. Actually, there's a thing I don't see why it gets so much hate, which um, would give it away. So. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens out. You're right there, Dave. Yeah, so I, it's the uh, keep falling. Sort of. Oh, okay. All right, did you get the answer down? Brad Johnson? I'm going to you for... Oh, close. Last name's correct. Oh, well, almost correct. Nope, and Luca. Also directed the Frost Superior Rocketeer. It's Joe Johnson. Joe Johnson. There it is. Yep. Wait, Johnson or Johnston? Wait, I'm is sorry. Did you say Johnson? I've, I've written Johnson. Oh, it's Johnston. Joe what Johnston. So neither of them got it. Ooh, interesting. Uh, that's all right. So that's the end of round number one. Nico, go ahead and give us that score rundown. Okay, so sweet, sweet score. Luca was so close to having a perfect round, but he slipped on those last two questions. He yeah. has six, and Dave, um, he's um, feeling somewhat close um, with three points. Not even close. Six to three. All right. I mean, so, like, uh, it's definitely not as bad as it could have been for the British uh, Bulldog uh, going into round number two, but he's got to do a little bit of work here. Mm -hmm. Um, But round number two is going to work like this. Nico is going to pull up our wheel, um, and the competitors will will each get to spin the wheel. Uh, Or, you know, he'll spin it for them, Mm -hmm. you know, digital magic. Um, But uh, that... uh, It'll land on a category that is uh, in the M- or in the inner geekdom. Uh, if you don't like the category you spin the first time, you can spin again, but then you must keep that second category. Um, and uh, once you get your category, you'll get four questions in the category that you pull. Uh, each correct answer is worth two points, but you can check the multiple choice, which will bring your score down to one point. Uh, and there is stealing in this round, so be uh, mindful of that when giving your answers. Uh, Luca, since you are in the lead here, um, uh, do you want to spin first, or would you like to defer to the British Bulldog? Nico should know from doing martial arts that if you have an advantage, you should probably press it. I'll go first. All right. He's going first. All right. Usually this is the part where we have a shameless plug. I don't have any ads up, so... Today's sponsor is Adblock. Fuck Ad. <laughs> All right, and Wheel of Morality, turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson that we shall learn player's choice. <laughs> sure. Oh, man, it is player's choice. Okay. Uh, I, will take, Luke, I will take the Wizarding World. He's taking the Wizarding World. Oh, oh boy. Any chance of me stealing anything? <laughs> oh, also, right. as a friendly note, please remember to turn off Ad look on YouTube because content creators make their money that way. Absolutely. Um, all right, here we go. Four questions in the category of the wizarding world for the butcher. No fantastic beasts. None of it. <laughs> and what we'll, we'll see. Fantastic beasts. <laughs> here we go. All right. Your first question in the wizarding world. Who played the character Sirius Black? Wow, really Kane? It's Gary Oldman. That is correct for two points. Dave knew that. Even I knew that. <laughs> Could have asked yeah. that question in the first round? Probably should have. All Even right. I knew that one. <laughs> question number two. Well, yeah, you've gotten to the third movie. Uh, question number two. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, uh, what actor kills Nagini? What actor? The actor. Yep. Um... Oh god, what's his name? Um, Meatball Spicy. Matt. 
Multiple choice. All right. Is it? Oh, God damn it. I'm not seeing it now. You know what? I'm going to give you a different question because that's not there. Oh, God damn it. I, apo- I apologize. I would have known that with multiple joys. Sure. I apologize for that. Here's your question. I'm. All right. What spell does Harry find in his potions textbook that he uses to seriously injure Draco Malfoy in Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince? That'd be Sectum Sempra. That is correct for another two points. Damn. Which I believe means always cut. Something like that. I don't know. I didn't take that. I feel like that's appropriate for a Rocky movie. Always cut. <laughs> always cut. Yes, indeed. All right, question number three here uh, in the Wizarding World. Who plays the clair- the character Credence Barebone in Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, Credence Barebone, I believe it's Ezra Miller. That is correct for another two points. Holy cow. Somehow I would have gotten that correct, too. <laughs> Interesting. And your final question here in the category of the Wizarding World. What is the name of Albus Dumbledore's brother who the kids meet in Hogsmeade in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2? Aberforth. Aberforth is correct for a clean sweep of round number two. Holy cow. Yeah. Okay, that brings Lucas' total up to 14 points. Dave, you got to have a good round. <laughs> yeah, that puts the that puts the British Bulldog in a bit of trouble here. Did you ever get the uh, feeling should have gone to Go into his spin. <laughs> Bringing the wheel back up. What's your special today? I imagine he's uh, praying for Star Wars yeah, here. Up, yeah, praying for Star Wars. Doors and soundtracks. Oh yeah, let's go again. Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> spin again. God. I feel I know that feeling. DC. Alright, DC movies. Alright. Four questions in the category of DC movies. Again, this is not the DCEU, it's just the movies based on DC. And your first question. What is the name of the character played by James Marsden in Superman Returns? I got to admit, I like him better in this. Oh, sorry. Than I did in X-Men. Multiple choice. Is it A, Richard White, B, Jason White, C, Jimmy Olsen, or D, Perry White? A. A is correct for one point. Oh, nicely done. Okay, so just so we're clear here, that brings Dave up to four, so he's just got a ten-point deficit. So so long as he hits an, another question, he'll, he'll, I think he'll be okay. He's out. He'll be out of knockout range. All right, sweet. Unless I steal. Yeah, <laughs> that's accurate. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh yeah, that too. Oh yeah. Cheers. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. All right, your next question here. Uh, what, what is the name of the character who kills Selena Kyle in Batman Returns? Got a little Returns Returns theme going. Oh, I the think... character. Yeah, the name of the character. Max Shrek. That's correct for a big two points for the British Bulldog. Nice. Named after the actor who played Count Orlock in this Yep. Role. Mm-hmm. Christopher Walken. Mm-hmm. Played by Christopher Walken. All right. Your next question in DC. Who plays the character Doc Cross? Or, no, I'm sorry, Doc Cross Williams in Jonah Hex? 
Ooh. The actor name. Oh my god. Yeah, multiple choice. All right. Is it sorry, is it A, Will Arnett? B, Michael Shannon, C, John Malkovich, or D, Wes Bentley? B. I'm sorry, was that D? B. B is correct B. for another point. God, I wish you'd said D. <laughs> I feel like all those people fit very well in that environment. They absolutely Michael do. Michael Shannon doesn't fit, it fit very well in that environment because it's a, good, it's a bad movie. Yeah. <laughs> it is a pretty bad movie. I meant the Wild West, but okay. <laughs> all, right. Uh, all right, and your last question here in the category of DC movies. What is the name of the character from Superman the movie and Superman 2 who is Lex Luthor's girlfriend slash henchwoman? Miss Tessmacher. That is correct for two points. Damn. Wow. Deep cut. Nice good round. Run. Very good round. Yeah, needed it. Uh, he needed it and he pulled it out. Uh, Nico, what's our score look like after round two? Okay, so after round two, uh, from both of them, the gap is narrowed, but it's still there. Uh, Luca has fourteen points. Dave has nine, so he has to do pretty well. Fourteen with to nine. Points. All right. So, uh, yes, but uh, definitely like not a uh, not insurmountable that. lead now. Going into round number three, and round number three works like this, guys. I've got two sets of quotes here, uh, and each uh, each quote is from a movie in the inner geekdom. I will read you the quote, and then you will need to. I will need you to tell me the actor and the character who said it, as well as the movie that the quote is from. Uh, the actor and the character are worth one point. The movie is worth three points. And then uh, if it comes down to it, uh, we have a second quote that will double you the points that you earn in a, with your first quote, but you will need to answer all three of the answers correctly to gain those extra points. That is so hard. <laughs> all right. So since Luca is in the lead, uh, you get to choose. Do you want to pick from set number one or set number two? Number one. Number one, that means Dave will get from number two. And I'm sorry, I forgot the score. Uh, Nico, how many, what does he need to get to take That's back the lead and send it back to Luca? The score is 14 to nine. So, so he's down by five. So he needs to hit all three to send it back to Luca. Or he has a second question. Both somehow, and at least uh, take the lead. Yep. He can all get right. like three and double it or get like four and double it. Yeah, exactly. All right, so Dave, yep. your quote is, Jim, I'm your doctor and also your friend. Get back your command. Keep in mind, you do have three repeats. Five, four, three, yeah, repeat. two. Okay. Your quote is, Jim, <clears throat> I'm your doctor and also your friend. Get back your command. Ooh. This one's got me. <laughs> oh. Keep in mind, you can ask for a hint. I forgot to mention that. You can get one of the answers as a hint. For the first one. For the first one. Do we lose points on that? Yeah, you uh, you lose the points uh, that you would have gotten. So if you ask for the character, you lose one point. Uh, actor, one point. If you ask for the movie, you'd lose three points. So you can't do that. Five. Four. Three. Another repeat. All right. Quote is, Jim, I'm your doctor, and also, and I'm also your friend. Get back your command. 
the chat is like really mad at this one. <laughs> Why are they mad? Was mad at me or mad at Dave? This question, because there, it sounds like it could come from like 10 different movies. I think it's pretty obviously comes specifically from one. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. All right. So, Bones McCoy. Okay. I'm going. The actor. Yeah, D. Forrest Kelly. Is it D. Forrest? Yeah, oh, that's my answer for it anyway. And the, and the movie? I'm going Wrath of Khan. That is correct for five well points. Done, oh. Five points tying up the game and sending it back to Luca. Oh boy, those repeats really helped. Wow, what a pull! <laughs> yeah. Ooh, boy. Mm. All right. Well, if they were mad about that one, they'll also be really mad about this one. Luca, your quote from set number one is, "Damn it, man! I'm a doctor, not a physicist." Uh, so. That is also DeForest Kelly. It is also Bones. But what is... Wait, no. Hold on a second. You hear that? Five. Four. Repeat the question. Three. Okay. Your first quote. Damn it, man. I'm a doctor. Not a physicist. Give me the actor. All right. The actor is Carl Urban. Okay, so it's Carl Urban, Bones McCoy, Star Trek 2009. That's correct for four points. Um, all right, so that does send it back to Dave. God damn it. I was hoping you were going to go with De Forest. <laughs> I was, that, that yeah, was, I was just that like, was no. Very close. Very close. Oh man! All right. So was for it, this was one, two thousand nine, or was it? Dave needs to hit all three. Yeah, it was two thousand nine. Was it? Okay. Yep. Bones does a lot of damn it. I'm a doctor, not an ex. Yeah. So. He I sure he does. Doing the the missiles that aren't missiles that are his crewmates. But anyway, yeah. Yep. All right. So now we're going to Dave. His second quote. We need to hit all have three I, of these. Yeah. I've got answers. one repeat left. You've got one repeat left. Yep. Okay. And no hints this time. Mm -hmm. All right. Your quote is, I needed a distraction and an eyeball. Oh, shoot. I know this one. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I actually tested this with Grant for the comic book league. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, overlap there, I suppose. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, repeat, repeat. one. All right, he's got that last repeat. Your quote is, I need a distraction. And an eyeball. Change up the inflection there a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Oh. The gears are now turning in Luca's head. I think I think I have it. Gotta give you that five count. Five. No, I'm not getting it. No. Four. Not even a guess. No, Three, I had it. It's gone now. Two. Got nothing. Oh, he's got nothing. All right, that's it. Time is up. And yes. your winner. You want to say <laughs> the butcher, Fallon Madden. Wow, what a uh, what a match, you guys! It came down to to almost the last quote. By the, the way, Dave, answer. that's uh, Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye, The Avengers. Oh, that's oh. correct. There it is. It is. And, and Luca pulled it. Wow. Um, so, uh, Nico, what was our final score? The final score was Luca with 18 points, 
Dave's 14 points. 18 so, to 14. Yeah, that's a, all right. a good score for debuting players. <laughs> it absolutely is. I mean, I don't think it's a record, but it's it's definitely up there. I think our average is usually around 12. So uh, you, you both definitely uh, surpassed the expectations. That was a, a, a hell of a showing from both of you, especially in round two. Uh, but with that, let's uh, go ahead and hear from our uh, our victor our victor first, uh, Luca. Uh, how do you feel about this uh, this victory? I know you were kind of nervous coming into it, uh, d- despite the bravado. Uh, yeah. Uh, how do you feel about your your win? I feel good. Um, I think that like I've been getting kind of up in my head about like inner geekdom not being my my specialty, and it's not. It's not my specialty. My specialty is in like horrors, classic seventies movies, that kind of thing. But I I think I've failed to take into account the fact that like inner geekdom trivia is still movie trivia, and I'm very good at movie trivia. Um, <laughs> there you go. So it's one of those things where it's like, okay, well I I can do this um, because you know it's it's movie knowledge and it's slightly more specific. I got very lucky um, in the second round. Um, had I had those uh, DC questions, I would not have had the same. Um, I would not have done it as well as Dave did um, in that round. Um, probably wouldn't have done particularly well with quite a few other categories, which shall remain nameless. Um, <laughs> in case I continue doing this, but I had a lot of fun. I'd like to do this again. Um, I enjoyed myself. Awesome. Yeah, I mean you're zero uh, and one now, or I mean one and zero. I apologize. I get those mixed up all the time. Uh, one and oh, so uh, yeah, hopefully, we'll see you back. Uh, anybody you uh, are you looking for anybody in the fu- uh, you know, in a future matchup? Yeah, so I've got some, I, I actually do, um, because there's some, uh, I'm gonna say revenge that has to happen. Um, I need to get back, uh, someone for something that happened in another league. Um, I will be challenging Jess Morgan. Um, Ooh, because Morgan has taken my shot for the FMT championship of this season in a recent match. And she will be facing Brian Fernandez, and I am supposed to be there. Um, yeah, the so, freaking upset of the century that was. So I would like to take Jess Morgan on um, and have some fun doing that, you know. Awesome. Speaking Absolutely. As Speaking as her teammate and manager, she is right where she needs to be at the top. I mean, she's not there. She's not there yet. <laughs> then why is she competing for the title and you aren't? Well, competing for the title is not the top, right? It's, it's, it's between her almost and, it's, at the top. It's, you know, it's, you found a it's between her around. and Ryan as to which uh, non-deserving player will have that title. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, uh, I can't really comment on uh, that other league's uh, status, especially about their champions, but uh, I can say I definitely would like to see you play uh, the Vicious Trollop, especially seeing as you both debuted today. Uh, It's almost poetic to see uh, you guys play each other. I mean, you're both uh, 1-0, so uh, I think that definitely could could happen. Um, And with that, let's go ahead and send it over to our unfortunate loser today, Dave Goodger. Um, you just couldn't pull it out, but, uh, incredibly impressive performance today. Uh, hitting that, uh, arguably the harder of the two, uh, first quotes that I, that I had prepped there. And, uh, I also like both of you did, didn't miss a question in round two. Uh, it was pretty dang impressive. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I mean, you know, I, I think a lot of uh, a lot of people would just be impressed that you took uh, Luca that uh, that far. Um, I would say that those people probably haven't seen you compete before, but uh, I do think you had a pretty impressive debut. Do you have any thoughts about your about the match, your opponent, or uh, the future of you in this league? Yeah, no, Luca's Luca's done well. As I said, it, it's. I'm just glad I didn't get Harry Potter on the wheel because other than the, the, the first one, I didn't know a single one of them. <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, I, I have gaps. I, I'm, I came into here very confident in my abilities within a geekdom. Um, I've got a massive hole. It's, it's, it's Harry Potter shaped. Um, 
<laughs> it's I, I star shape. Star shape. Yeah, yeah, that's a, yeah. Let, star shape down on the forehead. Um, <laughs> I, I've not competed. Whereas I, in contrast, before. scratched a lightning bolt into my forehead when I was a kid because I wanted to be more like Harry Potter. <laughs> See, there's the thing. I missed out on the books. I'm, I'm of an age where yeah. it just passed me by completely. Yeah. Um, the first half of the films passed me by, and I've seen them, but not. it's not something that I've, I was drastically quick to get right. to pick up on. But excuses, excuses. Luca played a great game and, and took advantage of the questions he got. I have absolutely no problem with that whatsoever. Um, it's difficult for me to compete, obviously, with Luca as well. It's, we're on the time zones we are. <laughs> right. We, we, we the eleven midnight hit our time to catch it early doors for you. So, yeah, look, my, my I'm I'm always open to if anybody wants uh, an easy win again, then then hit me up. And uh... you are absolutely <laughs> not an easy win. Fourteen is very impressive. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, definitely would not call that an easy win. Also, uh, uh, in terms of the Harry Potter thing. You're in good company. I mean, there's at least one person on the stream right now that uh, doesn't know crap about Harry Potter. Uh, and there's also uh, one of the uh, question writers that doesn't know a thing about Harry Potter. So uh, there's the, you're in very good company. I definitely don't think it handicaps you as much as you're thinking it does uh, today. No, nah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I've had, a, I've had a good laugh. I've had a good time. Good stuff. All right. Um. And yeah, I mean, uh, I, I know the uh, the time the time difference kind of sucks uh, for playing, but um, I, I we we will do our best to uh, make it line up again so that you can uh, so that you can come back and play. Uh, definitely want to see you back here. Uh, awesome. Um, and with that, I'm gonna throw it over to Nico. Get his final thoughts, and then we'll do our plugs and get out of here. What a match. What a match. Uh, the chat is blown up like crazy. Shout out to our movie trivia champion, Grant. Jessica Morgan, who Luca just challenged. We got Robert Parker, whose roommate is competing later Wait, on. Jess is, in the, Jess is in the chat? Yes, she is. And What's she, she said, saying? Is she talking her mouth off? You're running her said, mouth? She says she'll talk to you after she gets her belt. Yeah, I mean, we can talk to each other after Ooh. we get our belts. I'll get the jukebox one. You get the irrelevant one. Um, <laughs> the league where the points don't matter. Um, and then we'll talk. <laughs> uh, okay, Robert's in the chat. Nazario. We got John Salvi, who's also debuting tonight. And we have the head of the rankings for the IG division, Kane McMillan. They're all blowing up. They all loved it. Um, again, 18 to 14. That's a really solid score for two debuting players. Uh, they've shown that um, whether they won or lost, they are forces to be reckoned with in this division. I guarantee Absolutely. you, Dave, there, there are three in a Geekdom match tonight, right? There are two yep. more? So I guarantee yeah, you, Dave, that your score will be higher than one of the winners of the two matches tonight. I guarantee that. I, I just don't like losing. <laughs> <laughs> no one does. No one does. <laughs> I hate losing so much. When I lost the FMT match, like the, the uh, number one contender match, I almost stormed off. Jeremy actually did storm off during that match. I almost had a fucking tantrum. I was like, this sucks. <laughs> Nope. Yes, Grant, indeed. I, I, Grant, I gave you a shout out. I gave you a shout out, Grant. I acknowledged you. <laughs> All right, enough acknowledging the chat. This isn't a talk show. Uh, <laughs> we do that on Saturdays. Um, Wait, sorry. Uh, I was just using it as my AMA. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, but with that, let's go ahead and uh, go down the line. I'm going to start with our winner today, uh, Luca. Tell the people where they can find you if you should choose to be found, where they can see you, any projects you have to promote, anything like that. Sure. Uh, so you can find me, um, obviously, here. Um, I'm playing uh, Charles Ellison for the Jukebox uh, Trivia Championship. Um, that match hasn't gone up yet, has it? I just did I just did a bad thing by saying that, <laughs> didn't I? I th think Whoops. you may have, yeah. Right, okay, sure. I'll be playing <laughs> someone. Who knows? Who could it be? Um, Who could it be? For the Jukebox Trivia Championship, um, very, very soon on April 9th, you can find me representing uh, the greatest faction in the world, the Apocalypse Faction in the Faction Wars on April 14th. Um, you can find me uh, on Worldwide Movie Games playing in There Will Be Trivia. Um, I've got another match against Chance coming up um, in, his, uh, in the team division against Russell Howell. 
Um, you can find me occasionally in Movie Battleground. I'm supposed to have a match in there at some point in the near future, but who knows? Um, <laughs> besides crossed. that, um, you can find me on Full Metal Five, um, which is Full Metal Media's uh, weekly top five show, which I'm on occasionally. Um, and besides that, I, I think that's enough. I just give me some privacy behind that, please. Um, I'm, a, I'm a private person. I like to be enigmatic. Um, <laughs> just let me sleep. God damn it, freaks. Stop sending me <laughs> fan mail. All right. Uh, and with that, let's go over to uh, uh, the unfortunate uh, loser today, Dave Goodger, the British Bulldog. Go ahead and promote your stuff. Tell the people uh, where to find you. You've earned it. Okay, man. Well, um, Facebook, obviously, you'll see me knocking around on the various different groups now. Um, I've got a little podcast that I run myself. It's That Made Your List. Um, it's just me interviewing you lot, basically, average, ordinary film fans. I don't know any famous people, so it's just ordinary Joes. 20, 20 questions, firing it about, what's your favourite film, and so on and so forth. Um, and then that goes up. It's It's been going a couple of months now. I've, I've just clicked over 350 downloads, so I'm doing quite, I'm quite happy with it for, for me. Um, that comes out. I've got midweek ones on Wednesday, which are top fives, and weekend ones, which are the full list. Um, but yeah, that that made your list. That, that's on Twitter uh, at that made your Facebook page. That made your list. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. That's it for me. I'm on Twitter at Dave underscore Goodger. If you want to do it, I don't tweet much on there. It's just <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's me. Yes, indeed. Uh, that's that's awesome. If you guys haven't checked out that major list, be sure you guys go and subscribe. It's a fantastic podcast. Uh, I, I love it. I've listened to every episode. And it's uh, it's also kind of cool because you're like learning things about your the opponents and people that you're playing here. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, I mean, it, as well as people my, around the world. Yeah, my, my movie trivia has come on no end since I've done it because I, I've been researching the films that they're saying they like so i'm picking up the who's done the score who's done the director it it, it's yeah it's it's good for research yeah absolutely (laughs) definitely helps round out your game a little bit i think uh all right and uh now let's go over to my co-host the uh producer today uh nico suave rigoli tell the people where to find you well, in about 30 minutes, you can find me at Joe's Taekwondo, New Kensington, and I'll be spin kicking some pads for about an hour. Um, <laughs> you can find me. If you want to get spin kicked by Nico, go to Taekwondo place. <laughs> uh, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, at Nico Suave Rigoli. I got to get some more smoke down reactions back on that page, uh, but I'm usually active on Facebook. Um, and uh, you can find me here at Jack of All Trivia either running the stream, being on Weekend Rewind, or tonight at 10 when we have our final match of the evening, I'll be running the stream for that one too. Hopefully I won't interrupt uh, Caleb as much as I did tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a learning curve. It's all right. You'll 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 figure it out. It's fine. Um, I interrupt Caleb a lot. Yeah, See? That's true. There you go. Um, all right. And uh, finally, I am Mashed Potatoes. You can find me on Facebook at Caleb H or on Twitter at the Caleb Hansen. The only thing I do is retweet Jack of All Trivia, so you don't really have to follow me. Just follow Jack of All Trivia on uh, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that crap. Uh, and if you like punk music, you can check out my band, The Beta Waves. We're on uh, Facebook. And Bandcamp. Uh, beta waves. Check it out. The beta waves. Yeah, uh, we're not very good. <laughs> no punk um, bands are. That's why I like them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so that's it uh, for today's sh- or for this show. I should I should say. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, so as always, that's Luca. That's Dave. That's Nico. Hello. I'm Mashed Potatoes. Peace out. Catch us back and get it 9 p.m. and then 10 p.m. for the last two matches of the evening. Yes. What?